Hey everyone, it's Rachel here, and today I'm going to be doing a makeup collection for October of 2016. So I believe I've never done a makeup collection video on this channel, so today I really want to do that for you guys. I love watching these types of videos on YouTube, so I really hope you guys enjoy this. So without further ado, I'm going to switch the camera around and I'm going to show you guys what's on my vanity and then what is in my drawers. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks! Okay, starting off, this is my vanity. Um, I pretty much use this every day whenever I do my makeup. I used to do it in the bathroom, but now I just have that mirror and I just get it done in my room. Um, so basically, this desk was black. And I got it for Christmas one year and I ended up um, painting it white to go with my room um, colors now. And then my dad and I ended up going to a place where they cut a piece of um, glass. And then I put that over the desk just so the desk stays clean and I can clean it easier. So basically the desk is just um, white and then um, with one drawer. So in that um, jar is my candy. I don't really like hard candy, so that stuff just kind of sits in there, and if friends come over, they'll eat it. But um, if I have any chocolates, I'll put them in there, but normally it doesn't really last that long. Um, and then I also have my contact solution that um, basically put my contacts on here every morning. Um, and I just have basic travel size, full size, some cases, and then like a sample one that my eye doctor gave me. I have a bunch of different types of lipsticks. I don't really go with one brand. I just kind of go with whatever colors I like. Um, so basically I have some Urban Decay. Urban Decay is actually, I have a few of their sample size uh, lipsticks too and those are really, really good. Um, I have Bite Beauty, Urban Decay, Milani, Estee Lauder, Bare Minerals, Hourglass, um, Baby Lips. This one is a Maybelline Color Whisper, Tyra Banks. Uh, Too Tart and um, MAC, some random like Revlon, um, and then I do have some mini size trials, some mini of uh, the mini Makeup Forever, and a mini Marc Jacobs. In the back is mainly where I keep the lip glosses um, that I use frequently, and those just kind of stay back there. And then on the left of that, I do have some Smashbox uh, primer water. I really like this stuff just to spray on after I do my makeup to keep it not looking powdery. I do have this MAC Fix Plus as well. There's just water in there. But I use that to spray on my brushes to get my eyeshadows more pigmented. Or sometimes I might spray it on my face. And over here, I just have some miscellaneous things in this little container. Basically, I just have like a lip moisturizer and many of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, some hand moisturizer, hair, oils, just miscellaneous stuff. And I also have tweezers. This is actually just a Bath & Body Works candle jar cleaned out. In here I have all my brushes. So I have a blush brush, face brushes, um, stippling brushes, eyeshadow brushes, basically all the types of brushes. This one I use almost every day. This one I use for um, eyelashes and eyebrows. So, yeah. And those I use a lot. This is like my little mirror from um, Target. It was like 30 I think. Um, which I think you can get actually cheaper ones at like Costco and Sam's Club. So I'd recommend checking there first. Then over here on my drawer set, I have my Equate Makeup Wipes. These are my absolute favorite makeup wipes. You get a lot in there. They're like $3.50 and they're from Walmart if you want to check that out. I like them better than the Neutrogena ones actually. Then I have my Anastasia Glow Kit, which was featured in my monthly favorites. And then I have my Urban Decay Naked 3 and the Naked 2 palette. And then in this Dream Big Box, which is also shown in my monthly favorites, I just um, condensed all my palettes, or all my rest of my palettes in here. And uh, I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, the Naked 2 Basics, Tyra Banks Smoky Eye palette, and then a MAC one that I put... Uh, magnets on the back of things and depotted them. If you want a video on how to depot things, I can for sure do that as well. Okay, and here I have a couple different things. I have some um, single eyeshadows, I have all my other lipsticks, my mini lipsticks, and blushes. 
All of these containers are from the dollar store. I checked out con acrylic containers, but they were super expensive and these work perfectly fine for me, so I just went with them. In here, I have a lot of ColourPop eyeshadows. I actually got a big lot of these online from someone that was selling them, so I got those. So some of these colors I normally wouldn't wear, although I have used pretty much every color because um, these ones are a little bit more crazy. But at the same time, I've used the orange for like my color day at school and um, it's just other fun reasons. So I hold on to them because I do use them. This is Millionaire and I really, really enjoy this color. So I have about, I'd say like maybe 20 of these in total because I have some at my mom's as well. So I really, really like these ones. Really good formula. They stay on all day. You don't even need a primer. And then I do have a MAC uh, eyeshadow as well in the color Omega, and this is a perfect transition shade. In here, I have a ton of lipsticks. They're all kind of random as well. Um, I don't really have a method to this. I just kind of pick and choose what I like to use. Um, I have some ColourPop lipsticks, um, Tarte Chubby Stick, L'Oreal. This is more like a lip stain. Fight Beauty. I really like this. It's more a, of a berry color and it stays on all day. I wore this to school and it was basically on all day. Um, NYX Lip Gloss. I actually have, I think, two of these. It'll show up. <laughs> but there's one of those NYX lip glosses. I have a ton of chubby sticks. I love these chubby sticks because they're super easy to put on. I always just swipe these on my lip before school and I'm out the door. Then in here I have a ton of other ones as well. So I have an elf, elf lip gloss, which is that one. I have another Revlon Color Burst. That one's okay. Um, Be a Bombshell chubby stick. Arima Beauty lip gloss. Another Ofra. Um, and then here's Knit Cosmetics lip gloss. Okay, here's my mini lipsticks, my lip tints, and uh, just random lip stains. These two lip stains I got from an Ipsy bag with their reward points. Um, I really enjoy these. This color is perfect for winter, literally. I can't even use one drop or else it'll get, it's just everywhere, um, which is good and bad because it's super, super pigmented, so it'll last forever. But at the same time, you've got to be super careful when using it. Also, I have the City Color Creamy Lip Stain. Really like this one as well. I have a Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the color Bachelorette. And then I have a lip tint from Tints and Sass. I have two NARS mini um, lipsticks. And then I have a Lock or LOC Tati um, lipstick in the color Glam Life. I absolutely love blushes and if I were to have to choose between um, lipsticks and blush, if I were to have only one product the rest of my life, I would have such a hard time just deciding. I try not to keep more than what this bin can handle because I don't want to have so much makeup that I can't really use it. Okay, so starting on my blushes, I have a blush from Model Co in the color Peach Bellini 02. I also have a lip and cheek color in uh, Dusty Rose. I also have the ColourPop Super Ch Shock Cheek <laughs> in the color Prenup. Then I have the Clinique Cheek Pop in the color Berry Pop. I also have a Bobbi Brown um, blush in the color French Pink. I think it's always like a breast cancer awareness thing because it has a little ribbon on there. I also have a Hikari br blush in the color Tango. This one's insanely bright, but I like to keep it because I have no other colors like it. Um, I have used it multiple times as well. I just have to use a super light hand when applying it. Okay, this is kind of my miscellaneous drawer. Um, I have some more eyeshadows in here. Um, basically, it's just single eyeshadows, I guess, more of them. These ones at the top were more of my color pops. These are like eyeshadow duos. So this is the Pop Beauty one. I have some eyeshadow bases. Here's a NYX one. Be a Bombshell. One of the 
Maybelline color tattoos, Mary Kay eyeshadow base, and I have like a little Smashbox full in full exposure um, eyeshadow duo, Steal a Kitten, um, just a bunch of singles and duos. Also in the back over here, I have some makeup bags. Those um, are just kind of grab and go if I'm going to a friend's house. I'll just hurry up and throw in some stuff. Um, yeah, so basically in here is more eye stuff, but this is more like eye pencils, eye primers, mascara. Actually recently I do use these almost every day, but I had like three mascaras in my drawer, in my everyday drawer at once. So I put these ones in here just so that I can use up the first one. Then secondly I'll be going to this one and then my waterproof cover girl one. In here I have more foundations um, and powders I guess. There's also this random cream eyeliner in here which is in the wrong spot. <laughs> so I have my naked skin foundation which I honestly don't use too much. I mainly use concealer as my foundation but I really like it and I just keep it in here for now. I have this NYC BB cream. Um, yeah, I need to retry it because I haven't worn it for a while and I'm going to see if it actually matches my skin tone this time. Then this one is almost empty, but it's my Revlon Color Stay, but I think it's the whipped version in 110 Ivory. As you can see, it's almost empty. I was using this on a daily basis a while ago and then I didn't really start using foundations again for a while. Um, I still really don't. It's in there. I'm just going to use that up and then get rid of it. And then I have a pencil sharpener from Ulta. I also have one of these eyelash curlers. But honestly, like, I thought, like, when I was probably, like, 7th grade, I was like, oh, I need an eyelash curler. Like, everyone uses an eyelash curl. But to be completely honest, I never, ever use this. Um, fortunately, my eyelashes are pretty curled already, so I don't really use it. And I'll just use mascara, so. Then I have this Besame Translucent Powder violet though so it brightens your skin which I actually really like that I also have this pack of four uh, eyelashes and I use these um, for modeling shows but yeah okay so this is kind of just the everyday drawer I tried to keep one of each type of product in here um, I used to have a ton more basically I tried to keep everything, or one of everything in here, but honestly, it just ends up with me, like, just kind of, like, throwing stuff in there. <laughs> so, like, say I'll use this, right? I'll be like, oh, I'm going to use it. And then I, like, instead of putting it back where it's supposed to go, I just kind of, like, mm, okay. <laughs> and then I rush off to school because, literally, I do not have time in the morning for makeup. <laughs> so, basically, I just have, like, a chapstick. I have the Anastasia brow gel in case my brows are going whack. Um, I have a Becca highlighter in the color Opal, which I absolutely love. So pretty. I have one of these green concealers. Somehow it got all jammed up in the lid and like all sad, but it's still super usable. Like there's a ton in there and I don't really use it much, but I do if I have like a crazy pimple that's like all red and inflamed. So I hold on to this. I don't really want to spend another six bucks for another one when this works perfectly fine. I have a Makeup Forever HD powder. Oh, if I can get it open. It's basically just white sets the makeup. I'm so sad. I like jammed my nail in there one day and it just, it's just so sad. <laughs> then I have a couple mini things here. This is a mini tint. You can use it on cheeks or lips. Then we have this Sun Club bronzer. This is literally the only bronzer that works on my skin. I'm super fair and I feel like I've never been able to really find a bronzer that looks natural but at the same time that'll still bronze up my skin. And then I have my everyday naked skin concealer. I really like this. Um, works perfectly, kind of more on the pricey side though. I also have my NYX Photo Loving Primer. I really like this one. I'm almost out and I've got to get a new one but I highly recommend that. I also have the Urban Decay powder, really nice as well. Um, Benefit Brow Wiz, most of these literally were my favorites, so if you want to see them more in detail, check out my monthly favorites. I also have the e.l.f. blush and bronzer, I put this in here to use it more. Um, I really like the colors, just for some reason I kind of put them away. 
I have this mini uh, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. Then here's the mascara I was talking about that I um, need to use up. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mini. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below about what you guys would like to see next. And stay tuned to see all my future videos. Thanks. Bye guys.